This is a follow-up on the uh, attack in North Carolina on the HBCUs and uh, where the bill is standing right now in the North Carolina legislature. Folks, an update on the North Carolina bill, many say would slam HBCUs. Uh, yesterday, there was a committee hearing where the bill was actually discussed. Senate Republicans, of course, sponsored Senate Bill 873, proposing to lower tuition to $500 per semester for state students at Western Carolina University, University of North Carolina Pembroke, and three HBCUs, Elizabeth City State, Fayetteville State, and Winston-Salem State. Critics say that the bill simply is wrong and the state cannot make up the money the schools would lose. However, one provision of the bill, the possible renaming of the schools, was removed before it passed the Education Appropriations Committee. Now, yesterday, in the particular hearing, one of the things that came up is that they said that the, this legislature cannot mandate future legislatures actually keep giving the amount of money to those schools unless it's put in state law. That's simply not the case. And so even though the sponsor says they will give these schools a 60 to 70 million dollars every year, the reality is they don't have the legal authority to do so. So these schools every year, if this bill passes, would be up. They could actually every year a new legislature could say, nah, we just have to change our minds. And so also in the hearing, uh, they said they met with the Vine Nine Black Fraternities and Sororities. So the pressure continues to get this bill uh, removed. But next week, though, a vote is scheduled in the Senate to pass the bill before it goes to the House. Folks, damning allegations in the corruption trial. All right. So hopefully. Um when the bill comes up for a vote, the uh, cooler heads will prevail and they'll uh, vote no on that particular bill.